This is actually my product used up video. I have seen these before on YouTube and I thought it'd be really fun just for myself and for you guys to see, you know, when you're going to like clean out your shower or um, just throwing away your waste paper basket, like what products am I using up? What products did I buy and hated? You know, what am I throwing away that's half full? Um, and what am I throwing away that like I was trying to get more out of? So in this video, it'll kind of be a hodgepodge of all of that. I'll just quickly go through a bag of products that I used up and um, give you guys my honest opinion. This is just my opinion. You might have a different one and you might find um, a different result, but all I can tell you is what I actually thought and what worked best for me. So let's just jump right into it. All right, my first product is this um, tea tree and mint shampoo. And I actually love this shampoo. My husband loves this shampoo. Um, I've been using a different kind of shampoo for colored hair, but I find that if I kind of rotate and don't use this every day, my color stays in more. But if you have a problem with oil, it's a really, really good product. I like both shampoo and conditioner, and they are used up to the T. You cannot get more out of these. Sometimes that is hard for me to find, so I did try the coconut water. Um, for conditioner thinking like it doesn't matter it's conditioner and eh, you know it'll be okay and I actually did not enjoy this as much there is a, a little bit left in here and I think I just used it out of necessity it's supposed to be like hydrating I wasn't like super impressed so um, it's supposed to be like weightless hydration uh, that didn't work for me Maybe it works for you, but it didn't work over here. Next products is I have um, cleansing wipes, makeup wipes. I tried um, these ones from Up. They are the grapefruit kind from Up. And there's a bunch left in here. And I actually tried these are the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I was not a fan of either of them. Um, <laughs> The, the Neutrogena ones I think actually work really good, but they dry out super quick, so you have to be like careful. And that's why I still have, like you can see, like there's a bunch in here. Um, so that's a waste of money. These ones were actually the Target brand, is the Up brand, and I did not like the smell of these grapefruit ones. I thought I would really, really like it, and no, that, that didn't work for me. I am now just trying to use makeup remover and wash my face. If I use wipes like this, I go for like a lavender and um, a smell that I know I will like. Next product, this one is completely flat. You can see it's Huggy Baby Wipes. Isn't that hilarious? I actually bought this for myself, not for my child or anything like that. And I um, had it under my sink. I think I got them when they were like a dollar at CVS one day. And I went through all four very quickly, which makes me think that I probably should start buying them on a regular basis. But I like the Huggies brands. I actually used them when my child was small um, for diapers and things like that. And the Huggies brand I really like. And so these are really good when um, for makeup removers, just for general cleanliness. And I kept them in my bathroom and went through them like water. All right, this is kind of my off the wall product. It is by Skin Medica, and it's a moisturizer. It claims to be for oily or combination skin. My actual trade job is I am an optician, and I've worked as an ophthalmic assistant, which means that I've worked with eye doctors and ophthalmologists. Ophthalmologists do a lot of cosmetic stuff as well as um, disease stuff. And so the, the office that I worked in had a skincare line and this was it. And I really liked the formulation of this. Back in the day when I didn't know that my rosacea was rosacea, I was going through moisturizers trying to find it. This did not irritate my skin and I used it up, but it wasn't moisturizing to my skin. And that was more of a rosacea thing than anything else. So you can Google this brand, this Skin Medica, and it actually has really good formulations. They did have um, rosacea stuff. I just never tried it because I ended up leaving that job and moving um, to South Carolina. The actual company I think is really good and the actual formulation is really good. I have some boy products in my bag of tricks tonight. 
So this is the Old Spice Aqua Reef and the Old Spice Refresh Body Wash. Now, um, this is, or body spray, sorry. This is a body wash, this is a body spray. These were both my husband's. <laughs> um, I wasn't a huge fan of the body wash. It smells good, but I think there's probably a better one. I just think for a drugstore product that is actually a good, cost-effective, nice product. He actually uses this body spray. He like sprays it diagonally every day. I don't know. And that's kind of his like cologne and he never wore cologne. He was never into it. And a couple years ago I got this for him for Christmas in his stocking. And now he always wears some kind of spray and it's usually this Old Spice. This one is Swagger, I think. Yeah, this one is Swagger. And I actually like this spray. The only thing I don't like about it, guys, is that he sprays it in the bathroom and then leaves. And I'm still asleep in the master bedroom. Now, granted, there's a door, but that this stuff will get out. I mean, I'm like smelling it for like an hour. Like, I just have to get up because he sprays this stuff. Or we were actually on a vacation and he sprayed it in the hotel room. And then I tried to go in and do my hair. Oh, it's really strong in the room you spray it in. So that's my only contingency on this. But I love the way it smells and um, it's long lasting and he's really enjoyed it. And he's not a cologne kind of guy. So this is a really good alternative for gifts and things like that for guys who aren't really like a cologne type of guy. All right, my next item I used up is this Equate um, Blackhead Cleansing uh, Face Wash. It says that it is for comparable to Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser. Um, it actually worked pretty okay for me for um, like a drugstore brand. Uh, it had the little beads in it that kind of exfoliated, which I could have done without. But I used pretty, I used it pretty much until I couldn't use it anymore. I have since found a better product that I liked. But if I had to use it, I totally would, and it was fine for um, a drugstore face wash. My next product is actually this Suave Body Wash, and it's Ocean Breeze. Um, it's a really good scent for anybody male. Um, a lot of times scents are hard with body washes and things like that. I actually got this for my son um, for him to use when I got him just shampoo and then body wash. I was trying to kind of teach him the, the difference and how to be responsible with both of those. And um, so I wanted to make sure I didn't you know, spend a bunch of money on something that I wasn't sure if he would mistakenly put in his hair. <laughs> this worked out really good, $1.88, good price point, worked really well. As long as you don't have any dry skin issues, I think that Suave is a really good product um, as far as body wash goes for the price point. I, my husband will use it, my child will use it, um, and um, I just have super dry skin, so it doesn't really work that well for me. But if you have just kind of normal skin or even more on the oilier, oilier side of skin, then by all means go for it because it works really well. And so this was, it worked out really good um, for my child and the smell is good. This is another one of my husband's spices, Listerine. So my husband uses Listerine like it's going out of style. He brushes his teeth like, I feel like it's like 45 minutes. I'm like, come on, let's go. You can be done with that. Um, so, and he always uses mouthwash and he's like a huge advocate of mouthwash and it's a big deal. And oh, I'm not a huge advocate of mouthwash. I just don't like it. I would rather just brush and floss and be done. Um, but he loves it. But when I do, I can tell the difference when I use the regular Listerine versus when I use something else. So um, this is something that we're constantly running out of, which seems silly, but it's what he likes. Okay, on to the kids' products. This product is a dial product. I actually bought it twice, so I must have liked it. It's a dial product, and it's body and hair, and it's the peach tear-free dial for kids. So I bought it twice, and I like it. I like the way it smells. It's like... 
it's hard to find stuff for boys because everything smells kind of girly out there. <laughs> so, and not that you always smell like your body wash, but I just wanted him to have something more a little bit boyish. <laughs> so I, I find myself buying this over and over and over again. Um, this and another product over and over and over again. The peach seems to work well. I really like that it's body and hair. Him being a boy, he can wash his hair with it and he can wash his body with it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as my, as my kid says. And we can go on with our day. So this is something he likes and obviously I liked it. I bought it twice. The other product that I used completely up for my child is the Suave Kids and it's the shampoo and conditioner 2-in-1. I got him this and a body wash and I did it when his hair was a little bit longer on top because I felt like he needed just a little bit more in like that conditioning. Um, thinking that it would really matter but it, for at least in my situation it really didn't matter. So I was going back to just kind of a hair and body one but this is actually a really good alternative and to teach I was trying to teach to like shampoo and then you have body wash and to kind of just the responsibility of that and that actually worked out really really well last thing I used is for some reason I think it's the red packaging I swear I always buy this toothpaste can you guys see it it's the optic white um, by Colgate. I have no idea because my husband buys a completely different kind and uses it. I have no idea. I've been buying this over and over and over again. I don't know. It says it's supposed to make your teeth whiter. It's probably not doing that for me. It's good as toothpaste though. I mean it, it really is okay. I am not a good fan of mint toothpaste. I much prefer cinnamon toothpaste to anything. Um, but for actually a mint toothpaste, this one I can I can stand. If you're not a big fan of mint, but you do like the freshness that your breath has after with the mint flavoring, then this is a really good option because it's not as strong. All right guys, that's it for my products I used up. I'm really glad that you hung out in the video and um, just had, heard what I had to say. Some products I really liked, some I didn't, some I could buy again, some I I didn't care. It's all just kind of drugstore stuff that you can go try as well and I hoped that um, it gave you guys a little bit of insight, a little bit of fun, we'll let you uh, be more diverse when you're choosing products in the store. So I will see you guys again for another fun video.